This is the Aurora 88 Cento fountain pen. It comes in a large box. The Aurora logo on the top of this sleeve with the Cento logo as well. Um, this pen celebrates a hundred years of Aurora pens. Um, inside the sleeve is a cardboard black box which has a lid that slides off and a nice large wood box for the pen with a black finish it has the Aurora logo on the top hinge style lid that lifts open with a leather interior has the Aurora logo on the underside of the box lid and of course we have the Aurora 88 Cento fountain pen it has a rose gold finish all metal cap and barrel with etched lines running the length of the pen on the top of the pen is the number or it has a 100 and multiple times around the top of the the finial um, a simple clip with a ball at the end and then at the center band is engraved aurora and has the number of the pen on the back um, it is a piston style pen so there's a ring here at the end of the barrel of pen with the actuator for the piston the cap is threaded and unscrews you can post the cap on the pen um, it is the standard body style of the aurora 88 just with a different finish so it has an ink viewing window here and it has uh, smoke transparent so you can see inside you can see the ink levels and the ink color as well and then it has a black glossy resin section with an 18 karat gold nib it's engraved with the aurora logo and a black feed a beautiful pen um, aurora has been around for 100 years they're selling celebrating their 100 year anniversary this year this is the aurora 88 natuna fountain pen it comes in a large black cardboard box the aurora logo on the top of the box lid inside is a silver wood case for the pen it's quite large well built uh, good construction has the aurora logo on the top hinge style lid which lifts open inside is a black leather fabric or material with the aurora logo on the top of the box lid and of course we have the aurora 88 natuno fountain pen has a marble teal blue resin nice glossy finish on both that blue resin as well as the the black resin on the end of the pen and a chrome colored trim on the pen with the aurora uh, printed or engraved on the center band at the bottom of the cap nice large ball at the end of the barrel I'm sorry at the clip the cap is threaded and unscrews you can post that cap on the end of the pen there's an ink viewing window that's not visible with the cap on but you can see that once you unscrew the cap and it has a matching black section as well matches the rest of the black resin on the pen with a matching 14 karat or sorry 18 karat gold rhodium plated nib black feet on the nib um, it is a piston style fountain pen so you actuate the piston with the knob here on the end of the barrel of pen to fill it also included with the pen is a bottle of aurora ink and also a warranty and information about aurora and about the pen as well great pen aurora 88 just a great design Made in Italy. Get your Aurora 88 Natuno fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Bennu Briolette fountain pen. It comes in a white cardboard box. It has the Bennu logo in the gold. And the box lid will lift off. There is a sleeve for the pen with the Bennu logo on that. And of course we have the Bennu Briolette fountain pen. Unique resin with the ends that are glow in the dark they come in different colors this happens to be the luminous blue it also has these mineral looking deposits throughout the barrel and the cap of the pen they sparkle and glisten as the light hits them with different colors and it has a black resin in the section of the center of the pen there's also at the center of the pen there's a band with the Bennu logo which is on the band on opposite sides two different logos 
and the cap is threaded and unscrews. It will not post on the end of the pin. And it has a black resin section that matches the rest of the pen with a stainless steel nib and a black feed. It is a cartridge converter style fountain pen. So the, un the front section unscrews and there will be an ink converter included with a pen. The pen will take a standard international cartridge. So if you want to use cartridges, you, that's an option as well. Um, just an interesting pen. It's uh, Russian made. Get your Bennu Briolette fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Leonardo Fiore fountain pen. It comes in a colorful cardboard sleeve that slides off. There is a cardboard sleeve inside of that that is black. It has the Leonardo Officiana Italiana logo. And that sleeve slides off as well. And there's a basic box for the pen, hinge style lid, lid on the box, um, included with the pen's information about the Fiore, um, the warranty and, and other information. Under the other side of the box lid is the Leonardo logo. And then of course we have the Leonardo Fiore fountain pen. This happens to be the red version of the pen. Um, it has a vintage style look with the pointed ends, kind of soft on the ends, with a rhodium plated or silver colored trim. A ring here at the bottom of the barrel of the pen. There's a ring in the center of the pen, as well as two rings on the cap, and a roller ball at the end of the clip makes it easy to get it out, in and out of a pocket. It is a uh, Threaded cap, it will unscrew and can be posted on the pen. And the section matches the rest of the color of the resin on the pen with a stainless steel silver colored nib. It's engraved with the Leonardo logo and a black feed. It is a cartridge converter pen, so to change the ink on the pen, you would unscrew the section from the pen and included is a Leonardo ink converter for use with bottled inks. You can also add a cartridge. It takes a standard international ink cartridge if you'd like to use cartridges as well. They're made in Italy. It's a fairly new brand, but they make great products. Get your Leonardo Fiore fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Leonardo Momento Zero fountain pen. It comes in a cardboard box with a gray outer sleeve, has the Leonardo logo, um, the Momento Zero logo as well. That outer sleeve slides off, and there is another sleeve in black with the Leonardo logo on that sleeve, and that comes off as well. And there's just a black plain box for the pen, hinge style lid on the box, um, underneath on the underside of the lid is the Leonardo logo. Also included with the pen is information about the pen, um, the warranty, all of that that you need. And of course we have the Leonardo Momento Zero fountain pen. This happens to be the blue Hawaii. It has these beautiful different color resin with blues and browns and some grays in there turquoise this happens to have the gold colored trim on the pen the top of the cap is just a conical shape same as the bottom as well um, there's a band here at the bottom of the cap with the gold color there's three bands here at the bottom of the cap and the clip on the pen is also the gold color and it has a small roller at the end of the the clip to help you get that in and, up, in and out of a pocket easily. The cap is threaded. It unscrews and it will post on the end of the pen as well with a matching resin on the section of the pen and a gold colored stainless steel nib has the Leonardo logo and a black feed. It is a cartridge converter style pen. So you would unscrew the section on the front of the pen to fill the pen with ink. Included is an ink Converter has the Leonardo logo engraved on the converter. And you can also use ink cartridges as well. It just takes a standard international ink cartridge. It's a 
Great pen. It's made in Italy. Um, get your Leonardo Memento Zero fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Paniter Avatar UR fountain pen. It comes in a green cardboard box, the Paniter logo on the top of the box lid, which lifts off. There's also some information about Paniter, the, the pen and the warranty and instructions for the pen. And of course, we have the Paniter Avatar UR fountain pen. UR stands for ultra resin. It's a resin that's very strong and durable, um, basically un unbreakable. It has a glossy finish on the resin and silver colored trim on the pen. There's a cap at the bottom, just a silver colored cap with a clip on the pen that wraps around the top of the cap. It has a, a hinge to it so it lifts open nice and easily. The center band on the pen at the bottom of the cap has the Paniter logo with a scenery of, of Italy there. Um, it is a magnetic catch on the cap catches real nice and easily um, it will post on the end of the barrel of the pen as well and it has a matching um, chrome colored section with a matching stainless steel nib and a black feed it is a cartridge converter style pen so that section unscrews and it is include or a ink converter is included with the pen you can also use a standard international cartridge as well. Great pen. Paniter is a great new brand. Um, get your Paniter Avatar UR fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Platinum 3776 Kanazawa Matsutora fountain pen. It comes in a bamboo wood box where the lid lifts off. There is a soft velvet bed for the pen. And included is a warranty card and information about the pen. There is also included a platinum ink cartridge. It is a proprietary cartridge, um, so we'll only accept the platinum cartridge or a converter. And of course, we have the platinum 3776 Kanazawa Matsutora fountain pen. It has gold leaf with a Maka'e painting. Um, there is a picture of or a painting of a tiger on the barrel of the pen and a tree on the cap has gold trim on the pen with a gold clip small ring at the top of the cap to attach that clip um, the cap is threaded and unscrews and it has a black resin section with a, four, or a, a 14 karat gold nib and it has a black feed on the, the pen. It is a cartridge converter style pen, so that front section unscrews and included with the pen is an ink converter, so you can use bottled inks, or you can use the platinum ink cartridges as well if that's what you would rather use. Um, beautiful pen, beautiful artwork on it. Get your platinum 3776 Kanazawa Matsutora fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Scribo Feel fountain pen. It comes in a light blue cardboard box. Um, it has a cardboard sleeve that slides off. Included with the pen is information about Scribo, uh, as well as the, the warranty and use and care guide for the pen. The cardboard box is also light blue. It has the Scribo logo on the top of the box lid. It has a magnetic catch on the front of that. It lifts open and also included for, with the pen is a nice canvas pen wrap. It has a leather strap closure um, that just unwraps. And on the inside, one flap has a the Scribo logo embossed on the leather. There's also, you know, a pen wipe in there, but you can put other items in that side. And then the opposite side is two slots for two different pens. Um, and then, of course, we have the Scribo Fill Fountain Pen. This is the blue-black version of the pen. It has a resin cap and section with chrome or silver colored trim. On the top of the cap is the Scribo logo, and um, the rest of the trim matches with the curved clip on the pen. And at the bottom of the cap is a ring that has engraved the Scribo logo. And on the back of the cap is engraved with fill the writing in a script font. And at the bottom of the barrel of the pen is a small ring. 
The cap is threaded and it unscrews. Um, it does not post well on the pen, so, but it is a good, nice, uh, large, oversized pen, so it doesn't need to be posted. This pen comes with two nib options. There's either the 18 karat gold or the 14 karat gold flex option. Same price for both. The difference is the 14 karat costs a little bit more for the machining to make it that flex nib. This happens to be the 14 karat option. And it has a black feed. It is a piston style filling system. So you actuate the piston with this knob here on the end of the barrel of the pen. Scribo is a newer brand. They're Italian made. Um, so make some great pens. Get your Scribo Feel fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Waldman Eldel Fetter fountain pen. It comes in a black cardboard box, which the lid lifts off. And inside is a black leather box for the pen. It has the Eldel Fetter logo engraved on the box lid. Hinge style lid, which lifts open. The logo is once again on the underside of the box lid. And of course, we have the Waldman Eldel Feder fountain pen. Sterling silver on the pen, on the cap and the end of the pen. Um, it has the Waldman logo on the top of the cap. Um, it has a black paint, painted ring at the top of the cap with a metal clip. And at the bottom of the cap it has engraved on the back made in germany and the eldel fetter logo it is a threaded cap that unscrews and will post on the end of the barrel of the pen it has a matching sterling silver section with a stainless steel nib and a black feet on the, the back it is a cartridge converter style pen so to change the ink you would unscrew the section from the barrel of the pen and insert an ink cartridge into the pen. Um, there's not any converter included with the pen, but there is some ink cartridges under the false bottom of the box. Well, there's a box of Waldman ink cartridges as well as the warranty card for the pen. Uh, great brand. It's a German brand. It's been around for more than 100 years. Get your Waldman Ella Fetter fountain pen at penchalet.com. This is the Waldman Tango fountain pen. It comes in a black cardboard box, the Waldman logo on the top of the box lid, which lifts off. Inside is another box for the pen. It's a black leather or leatherette material with the Waldman logo on the top of the box lid. It's just it's embossed here. There's also the logo on the chrome on the front of the box. It has a hinge style lid on the box, which lifts open. The Waldman logo once again on the underside of the box lid. And of course we have the Waldman Tango fountain pen. With the Waldman pens, they use sterling silver on the metal of the pen. And this has a black resin as well. This happens to be the black rings color. Plain ring or caps on both the top and the bottom of the pen. On the clip is the Waldman logo right here at the top and at the ring it has Waldman engraved with made in Germany on the back side. The Waldman pens are all entirely 100% made in, in Germany. They've been around for more than 100 years and make some good quality pens. The, the cap is threaded and unscrews it will post on the pen and it has a matching chrome color section with a stainless steel nib. It is a cartridge converter style fountain pen, so the front section unscrews from the pen and it will take a standard international ink cartridge. There's no converter included with the Waldman pens. They do have some ink cartridges to get you started that are be found underneath the false bottom of the box. There's also some information about the Waldman or the warranty card. Uh, great pen, great German brand. Get your Waldman Tango fountain pen at penchalet.com.